You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. They'll be jumping out the motherfucker. Fact. You got to get yeah. mad extra when you people come in the car, too. You just got to make sure they like, know it's clean. Knock the shoes off before yeah. you get in. Yeah, be careful. I just cleaned my car. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. You got to yeah, get I extra. Tell <laughs> before you get in my car, take your shoes off. Put them on your lap. That's a fact. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you, G. Treat my, treat my clean car like grandma's plastic couch. <laughs> Let me fuck with these people. I Motherfuckers come in. I got plastic on my here. fucking car seats. <laughs> All right, let me see. Where were? What did this week start with? Uh, the fuck. I just was looking at it too. Was that was this the, Yo, this was this gonna... the Rich Brian? Yeah. Yes. This was my cra- Oh yeah, this week was wild, bro. I fucking predicted the future, but um, <laughs> dude, yeah, it's weird Yo. shit. But yeah, what's up? Yo, quick, quick question. So, yeah. like, if I fucking minimize this bitch and I like to to uh, look at like uh, the projects just so I can visually remember yeah, shit. Yeah, let me see. Let's like... see. What, let's see what happens. Let's try it out. It's probably gonna say like paused. God, um, I, he just disappeared. He vanished. Okay. All right. Let me just see. All right. So the first one. Rich. Oh yeah, Rich Brian. I remember that motherfucker. Yeah, right. it's Rich Brian, but back. I think he just typoed it. Yeah, that's because Drake K. I don't fucking fix none of Drake K's fuck ups. Like anybody who fuck, I'm like, if you can't spell, you gonna look, you gonna look crazy. But um, yeah, if you have to do that, I can throw you back. I don't care. This is a this is a DIY, yeah, DIY just, podcast. This shit is do what like, you gotta do, bro. Yeah, do what you gotta do. But um, yo, right, cool. let's start it off regular. I'm John D. Contradiction. We got my man Walko with the green headset, green and white headset, and introduce yourself. This is our special guest host. What's going on? This is Dice D One C Three. Recording artist, what's good? Facts. He is a green check vet. Facts. All right, he's got yes. green checks from no us. He's a green check vet. How no many now? How many? Yet. I think it's like three. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, three of them. Yeah, because the true villain one. Yeah, three. Yeah, you're, you're in a, you're in a select. You're in a select group. <laughs> Fact. Yeah. <that's, laughs> multiple green checks from different reviewers. <laughs> Fact. What's funny is there's someone who got a green check and then got a red check this weekend who like completely yeah. switched up on us, and I think that's hilarious. I'd be bro. like that, bro. They love like, you till they hate you, bro. People cry, I man. I said, man, I don't know. I don't know. This, yo, my next album, that shit's coming out on the 20th of September. It's different than anything I've done. So I'm like, I don't know. You never Set know, bro. Don't Set be safe. Hey, listen, <laughs> don't hate <laughs> us. Don't hate us if you get nah, man. It's yo, all you love. Hey, yo, yo, I give myself a green check. Like, when every everything I do first drops, give me, like, two weeks, and I'll give everything I've done so far a red check. Just because I'm like... <laughs> I'm Just sick because of I get tired sick of, of it. it, I hate it. Fact. I'm already, yo, my shit didn't even drop yet. I'm like, yo, I don't even want to hear this shit no yep, more. I'm not that. that shit. Like I said, I yo, I'm, this album I'm already. straight on my '90s shit now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm straight on my '90s shit now. I'm like, fuck all this other shit. My manager's like, nah, bro, we got. I'm like, no, fuck all that shit. <laughs> I respect I'm like that. Like Tyrone, I'm like Tyrone in this motherfucker now. <laughs> I feel that, man. I'm like that often. Like, oh, oh, I made this song the next day. This is terrible. Why do I have this? Delete. (laughs) But uh, so we started off the week. We had our slept on sun. uh, No, this is our mixtape Monday. So it's weird. This is not on purpose. This is actually coincidence that the mixtape Monday was um, I chose the separate but equal, the little the little brother mixtape, which is a classic. If people Mm -hmm. haven't listened to it, it's Ninth Wonder and fucking Fonte and Big Pooh. It's, 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 It's fantastic. For people that haven't listened to it, listen to it. It is a classic. And then, sure enough, during the middle of the week, they drop. But um, let's get right into it. First project of the week that we did was uh, The Sailor by Rich Brian. This was Rich Chigga originally, and he put out that garbage project last year. I really fucked with this project, and I still have Yeah, this is nice. I don't know about that fire. Is Rich Chigga. Yeah, it's Rich Chigga. Yeah, Rich Brian. Yeah. I didn't even re- I was like, he went through a, looks familiar. He yeah. went through a brand change. Yeah, he wow. switched he it all up. It a little. You know what? He he rode the way he did the hype thing. He did the new age thing, and then he was well, like, he "This is that, not like, what I want to do." And he's doing he did what he that wants stick to do. Song, right? That was what blew him up. Yeah. yeah. Then he had, he then he had Ghostface on shit. it. Then he had Ghostface on the remix, and then he just kept. Yeah, it. Then he yeah. did an album that was all new age shit, and he was like, "You know mm-hmm. what? For his sophomore album, he decided to tackle it." tackle what he wanted to do and this sounded much nicer this is, this is like actually this nice to listen to yeah to yeah <laughs> this project was you nice. know what it is yeah like i all right so i listened to it and i was like all right you know it's it's okay you know what i'm mm. saying like yeah but knowing 
that that's him now because I didn't like I knew he looked familiar, but I just didn't place it because I never really paid much attention to him mm-hmm. as an artist. Knowing that that was him, I have much more respect for the project now. Yeah. Well, that's because this is saying? more of like an actual artistic expression. Yeah, this yeah, this reminded yeah. me of like early Gambino type stuff. Like he had yeah, like the very yes. Beatles type stuff. He had his own little singing. He had features do some singing. He had some really yeah. strong points. Like yeah, that song Yellow. That fire truck, though. Oh, the first song. I don't think yeah, the first song was a fire truck, but you know what song yeah, I did think like, was a fire tr- fire truck, which I probably would have gave even a diamond because of it. Just it was it hit at the right time that drive safe song, but that's not like a hip hop song. That's literally like a you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That was like to me. That's just like yo. That's I a don't great, know about a diamond. I love that song, bro. That song I is mean, deep. That song is deep. Diamond? Yeah, man. That song hit the soul, bro. I don't. I heard I that shit in my car, and I was like, "Oh, that shit hit. That shit hit, bro." But then again, you know, I've been on. I've been, you know, I'm gonna just chalk it up to light skinned mm-hmm. retrograde because I've been on my emotional yeah. shit. But um, yeah, this has some bangers. <laughs> yellow was fire. I don't know why he gave it a wave. I'm like, yellow was fire. He was talking some shit. But this project's super solid. This for a sophomore album, this is solid compared to that garbage freshman album. This is solid, super it's solid. Nice. It's nice. Yeah. So the next yeah. one was uh, Aspen Two by is this Benchmark. Some of our Wakandan brothers. Yeah, it's one of our Wakandan brothers. So yeah, this guy yeah, right yeah. here, this dice fellow over here, put no yeah. respect on their name. <laughs> Are you tri- yeah, you tripped a little on this one, bro. This was at least a pumpkin. <laughs> Yeah, yo, listen, like uh, is the so, accent bias was that was what was going on, or my man's flexing in the New Balances on the one track. <laughs> he said, "I got my New Balances on, I'm fresh." Yo, like, all right, so there was there, like, all right, not every song, like, I'm not a fan of like the new shit. You know what it's I'm not, saying? It's like, not good. But yeah. when we were when we were like, cause like me and John were talking about it uh, the other day, and like. There is like, all right, there's shitty new school and then there's like good new school. You know what I mean? Where they are doing it right. So you got to kind of take it for what it is. And there was like one track or like two tracks that they actually stood out. Like there was the one that I gave like a um, thumbs up. I I gave an okay or I gave a thumbs up. Living large, yeah. Living large. And I actually, yo, I'll be honest. I actually listen to that song here and there. When I'm feeling like, yo, I'm, I'm out chilling, whatever. I, I sometimes I put this shit on, but my problem was is that that fucking the, it's just too much auto tune. When you can't <laughs> yeah, sing, I agree. I agree. You're, when Facts. you're such a bad singer that the auto tune makes you sound worse. Oh bro, man, that's it's terrible. Bad. That's bad. <laughs> it's and, terrible. And that's the thing. I fuck with you know the, was? that what Zuki was Coke dr- drop, dude. Uh, that's a, yeah. That's another one of them. We've reviewed them before. I think yeah. you got to check at me actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That yeah, dude, some, of the, some, of them are, some of their stuff is clean. A lot of the stuff is clean, but you can tell the thing that's weird with this stuff that gives me a weird vibe with like, the Wakandan brothers. You could tell they learned it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, to, yeah, you know, yeah, it doesn't yeah, feel not, like it's not it's almost yeah. like parody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's almost. like, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. we could copy this. That's easy. And then it's but like they, they, they got some smooth melodies in there, though. Oh yeah, the, 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 the melodies. I mean, you you and you in Africa, bro. You got melodies, yeah, bro. Yeah, you you know what I'm yeah. saying? You yeah. got melodies. It's just yeah. a matter of like throwing all the shit that I, you feel like you need on. I would have gave it a pumpkin. <laughs> Walker would have gave it a pumpkin. I probably would have red stamped it though. I would have yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could see it getting you know a pumpkin. I'm not mad at it. But but what what killed it was that kind of forever. The track living large, <laughs> even the track that like living large, the quality was just really fucking bad. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, not, not yeah, this horrible. wasn't their cleanest project for sure. Yeah, it wasn't. It's not horrible, but it's yeah. like some songs have better quality than others, and you could tell like the same motherfucker didn't put it together. When you really care about a project, because I'm an engineer, you want one right? person to hold it down. <laughs> Do you want yeah, to hear that? Like, do it right. Do it. Yeah, that consistency yeah. is key. Like, yeah. I I hate when I hear projects when I, it could be something so simple, but it'd be like, why is this song lower than the last song? And I'm just like, what the fuck? It ruins the whole experience, bro. Exactly. But, yeah. Exactly. So, next one. So the next one we had the spilled milk EP by Boss. Boss is that's Dreamville. That's that Dreamville cat, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. This was this was nice. This is a weird. Yeah, Fra- this was Fra- nice. Frankie's a weird this dude, man. His rating was a little weird. I liked all of this. This would have been like a. This probably would have been a seven for me. But um, I agree. This was dope, man. I thought the Earth Gang feature was dope. I like Earth Gang. I thought Jin mm-hmm. did leave Earth. That fire truck is very much. Yes. Well, he hasn't that not left Earth this year. Like, well, let's talk about it. Like, Jid is a fucking problem. He's- bro. <laughs> 
And he's got that high. You notice how many of the the high pitched voice dudes are killers right now? <laughs> the, that dude, Kendrick, Kendrick's children, place. Kendrick's children, yeah. bro. Got a bunch of high high voice killers out yeah. here. <laughs> but um, I thought all the features did good. I thought all the production did good. Boss did good, but I think my thing with this project is, you didn't need him for this project to be good. And that's yeah. what's weird to me. Legit if you took him out of this, you would have been like, "Ah, oh, it's still dope." You know, it wouldn't. He wouldn't have made that much of a yeah. difference. He just seemed like another feature. <laughs> yeah. This. Yeah. This is yeah. essentially like a. It's almost split. like this was put. To, yeah. This was put together by a by a producer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're just like added vocals. Just had, he just his had yeah. to be on every song. Yeah. So it was. Um. Yeah. That's that's definitely. That's definitely not something that you want when it's your own project. Yeah, you, know you don't want it to like, not feel like you yours. Want to outshine it. Well, let's, yeah. let's be honest. He's got a feature, what, on every track? Yeah. 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 It's only four tracks. So. so then it's common It's common for that to, to be a thing, especially when your features are kind of outshining you. So Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like you're just kind of drowning. If you're going like, to you're gonna do like a really short EP, bro, you got to like – one, you should keep it like by yourself, but if you're going to put features like – you gotta like definitely try harder than you yeah. Know what I'm yeah, exactly. yeah. At, at, at this point, like if you feel like you need features, don't go and put the most fire feature. You know, like, right? You yeah. Know, yeah. You're yeah. you're famous enough. You were Dreamville. You could have made that one you, tweet and got some dude single. on there. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, four songs. Jit track like, could have been a single. Tracks, like, yeah. Yeah, that jet track definitely yeah. could have been a single to give this a little more, a little more boost, a little more Same. juice. But um, yeah, it's a nice little quick listen. I wasn't mad at it. Then we had um, I posted some of the leftover videos of Thirty Eight Special getting his rap on. For people who haven't checked it out, we had a nice interview with Thirty Eight Special. Our shortest video to date, it's about thirty five minutes. <laughs> he was high key boring as shit, but that's fine. His music is still fire. <laughs> How's that <we> doing? <laughs> yeah. The- <laughs> But he, um, wait, wait, what'd you say? How's what? I said, how's that one doing? It's doing good. People are checking it out. It's getting its comments, the usual, but no one has called him out yet. Cause that's like the fan thing. No one's going to yell like about, Oh, he's, I like this guy. So I'm going to call him out, but I'm going to call him out. Like I'm a fan, but you were, it was yeah, boring. I mean, it was a terrible yeah. interview. Fucking all of our high quality ones are terrible. Yeah. I don't know if he yeah. was jet lagged or he couldn't hear us or what. Yeah. He was yawning and shit. Like his ears need to be popped. Like he was on an airplane and shit the whole time. It was rough. But it is what it is. Check out the bars, the video, blah, 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 blah. So then we had a special release that I did. Again, this was not planned. I did not know this was coming out. And I was like, I'm going to take it because it dropped. This was May the Lord Watch by Little Brother. This was gas. This was gas. This project had, this project one has a feel that I feel like if brought me home. It brought me home. It brought me back a couple of years, but it also felt very new and fresh now. And I was first was like, oh, no Ninth Wonder. It's by the whole, you know, it's the group of people that rock with Ninth. So it was fire. But this is, I, I believe Crisis did most of these. But um, this was gas. Like this project was a 10 out of 10. This made me feel great. Every skit was very relevant, was very, very woke, very dark, quick, short. Every song, their fucking contrast. Fonty's over here like, oh, I got a billion bars, and my bars are fucking for people to think. And then Pooh is just like, my voice and presence on these tracks is so fucking elite. Let's just clash. And they sounded fucking like they never left. And this was like a decade later. It's, it's fucking crazy. This project this is ridiculous. bangers. Good Morning Sunshine got an immediate diamond from me, and I cannot go a day without bumping that at least once since I've this, since this came out. That song felt like... It came out of like the old Kanye Black Star fucking era bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking like yeah. so- something that's definitely needed now. Yeah, like yes. you said, yeah. something that's definitely needed this, now. This yeah, project felt sure. like something we haven't had in a long time. Yeah, you and know that what made it is it feel too? Fresh. Look, I'll say this too. Like, even though um, you know when you go when you go back in time, I mean how hip hop used to be. Mm. Even when you take something that's just has more of like that old school real vibe. You know, it's it's fresh regardless now yeah. because of the fact that you don't hear it anymore. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it's and like, you can feel it. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. And this that's whole project, like, I would say the whole yeah. the whole project. I was doing this. I was like, oh, my God, I listened to it. So I did this review at work and I was like, man, this hits. And then I listened to it on the drive home and I was like, oh, my God, this is fucking. Yeah, was... I put my windows down. I put this shit as loud as humanly like, possible. Oh, my straight. God. This shit had bangers after bangers. They had um the one thing that about this project has nothing to do with the music of the project that I was upset about is like there's features on here but they don't list them, and 
but I heard Pac on here. I heard, you know what I'm saying? I heard a couple people mm-hmm. on here. And I was like, oh, not like verses, but like singing and shit like that. But um, mm-hmm. regardless, so. this is a this like is they a truly just listen. didn't list them at all. Like even on no, like Apple, because no. I, I think they probably that means you usually when they do that, it mean they bought it. Like they bought it out, right? Like it just yeah, they owned it. Own that track. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but yeah, there was like that. Like Pac is on here, and I was like, I know Anderson Pack yeah. when I hear him, but still, regardless. Fucking yeah, yeah. a treat, a app, an absolute surprise treat, bro. Fucking fire. So, yeah. the next project, um, this is probably one of my favorites of the week uh, from a from a non known artist. But this was Reflections by Notes eighty two. So salute to Long Island. But this project was nice. This is nice. He was rapping. He was fucking mm-hmm. rapping, bro. That song, Tell Him Pray, is an mm. absolute banger. That song's catchy. The beats fire. I believe it was Live Johnson that did it. So shout out to Live. And Production's smooth on the whole thing. Yeah, I, th- I think Live did a lot of it. Production's nice, but this dude notes he can rap. And notes is one mm-hmm. of those people. I, he, I'm a little annoyed by him because he like tags us all the time and some shit on Instagram. And I'm like, Wait, hey, he's from he's from Long Island. Yeah, Man, I, don't I don't know why, but he sounds like he's from like Baltimore or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know why I get that like vibe. <laughs> don't Baltimore niggas stretch out their use? But um. Maybe I don't know. Is that Baltimore? <laughs> like, <"Are> you? <laughs> I don't know what you. I don't know. Matt, I think that was Baltimore because I stretch out the use. But um, yeah, this project was nice, man. It had a lot of punches, a lot of smooth shit, very New York sounding. Had a lot of boom bap. Had not much new age, which was good, but like, yeah, the uh, like newer sound, like a fresh kind of sound, but it wasn't new age. It wasn't trap. Mm-hmm. It was more like I don't know. It was very New this York. This wasn't recycled. Yeah, facts. This is very fucking New York. Notes 82. This was solid. This was fucking solid. So let's see. Let's see what we got. Then um, after that. Here. Oh, boy. So the next project. Up from here by DMG Cap. Is this a mainstream artist? I don't know. But is he, he like, famous? At, is he famous? What's his what's his I don't know. Like? What's nah, his he's like? Famous. Not too nah, bad. he ain't famous. He came at us wild spicy on a fucking yeah, Facebook. I'm like, I'm like get the, the fuck? fuck out of here, bro. He's like, Hold oh, up, my I, streams I is killing I gotta, I gotta look at this fucking, cause yo, cause there was one. Oh, oh yeah, you said DMG cat. Yeah, this one was yeah. trash. Oh, I hated God. this one. This is the one where I dropped yeah. the word doo-doo like twelve times in the review. This project was oh, ass. Man. This dude, and this dude was on a Facebook like, but uh, and Instagram like, my streams is up. I'm like, oh cool, you probably bought them. Like, no, no one likes this. This shit is whack. Like, get the fuck out of here. No, but that's how you, that's how you know the motherfuckers are like super super corny is when they're like, but my streams though, I don't. Yeah, care. yeah no one cares. I'm like, your streams are not gonna. Trash. Yeah, your streams aren't gonna yeah. even move this point four to a point five, bro. Like, you gonna take this L? This shit was garbage, bro. It's like, yo, I think Lil Uzi Vert won. A fucking Grammy, like I don't give a fuck. He still uh, this, sucks. Like if we were, if we we're gonna be giving out checks based off of streams and shit, Easter Jigga would have got a check by now. Facts, the yeah. biggest checks. Easter Jigga is the worst, and, and it ain't happening. Yeah, but <laughs> He's gonna rise be getting checks because then fucking there's so many people that be buying their shit. So exactly. It's like, well, Easter Jigga just be harassing people. Yeah, he's <laughs> aggressive. I respect yeah. Easter Jigga's game though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him compare him to this cap yeah. dude. This cap dude though, this shit is trash. Everything was garbage. The beats were whack. This dude can't rap. Um, the only good side of this, like I said in the review, is that this project was short. But it's 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 Facts. super cookie cutter. It's the worst of the worst cookie cutter. It's like there's he was stealing to flows too on some yeah, of them. It was like, the, all new age flows garbage before. flows. It's it's just not good. Yeah. It's not good. Everything about it I was even, trash. I wouldn't even call them flows. <laughs> yeah, Facts. it's kind of like melodies and humming and shit who knows but yeah. um so we i, I don't want to give that guy any more shine so the next project so this project hurt my feelings this was north side Le- legend by richie buzz this mm-hmm. project had every single thing that could have made it dope but this dude's delivery is wild Yo, I, 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 yeah, he's I gotta be 50 <laughs> he sounds like he's really gotta be 50. i didn't see what he looked like i don't know man i gotta see what he looks like 50 <laughs> the way he was rapping dude he was yeah. no he's not you know what I'd be doing too? Like a lot of times, like I was clicking, I was I was going to the review, and it's I was like, cl- like <laughs> I was reading the review, and then I would click it and Ooh. listen, and then see if I like if I agree with it. But with this one, I remember, I just clicked the link. I was just like, yo, let me just because I went onto the website, I clicked it, and then I was like, yo, like this dude, this could have been good. Yo, but this dude, it's just his delivery is just like what the fuck? It is just that? didn't it feel like right. a robot. Yeah, it's because it's it's like, like, like the like, beats were dope. Type that shit in. Yeah, like the beats were dope. His subjects were dope. He's talking about the street. He's talking about some real shit that I love. 
It's just, mm-hmm. and the quality was clean. The pacing was even good. It's just the way he said his words did listen, not listen. feel good, bro. And I'm like, fuck. But he took this like a champ. He was like, bro, I'll take consider- that into consideration. But I was like, yo, by no means change up anything else you're doing, bro. Just that delivery because your writing is here. Yeah. Everything was here. He's, he's just not comfortable yet, bro. Yeah, it just it sounds like that. Stiff. Doesn't that look like somebody yeah. who's uncomfortable? Yeah. Nah, he looks wild comfortable. You see the shoes? Nah, nah, nah. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I was upset looking through his page now, man. He got all this Nipsey he hustle, the, man. He let me down. This, comfort. Or head to chin comfort. Now nah, he got a picture of his waves. That's comfort, bro. <laughs> that shit, yo, he just got back from church and that shit, bro. Facts. Facts, and he called every older church woman ten years younger than they actually were. He knew what he was doing. I could see it in his eyes, man. <laughs> you don't look a day over. The, you don't look a day over forty-two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this project hurt my feelings, though, man. This this could have been money too, man. And every I was liking everything about it. I'm like, yo, I like the name of it. I'm liking the cover. I'm here, and I was just like, bro, this delivery, I can't feel it. Like it's not hitting. But you know, he, yeah. I, 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 he better give us something fire down the road so the next thing we did yeah, fix it up and send the new shit in facts so the next thing we got uh was our articles we've been we've been having a good run with the articles people have been sending us gold oh, they've been crushing so this was one that my boy john john uh kennett my own boy on facebook he contributed it and i spiced it up a little bit you know i like to add a little sazon this was the logic says his next album addresses that he's biracial oh my god check this shit out this shit is one is hilarious <laughs> there's mad shots thrown in there and I think what makes it better is Logic dropped that like freestyle this week <laughs> and he like mentions his like sons being born. So like that makes it even funnier because that literally that entire freestyle is trash too. But um, yeah, man, I went in. That's my Photoshop on there in the black and white. I Photoshopped Logic onto Logic. <laughs> and it looks incredible. <laughs> I was uh, literally, I was He's at my desk dying, bro. You make fun of him by Photoshopping his him face onto himself. Body. Bro, like I was literally <laughs> at wild. my desk crying. I was like, I'm just going to Photoshop one pick of Logic on another pick of Logic. And I was dying. And then I wrote black oh, and white on his shirt. shirt. <laughs> I was literally crying, bro. Like, And I was like, I really wonder if anyone will realize what I did. Because I was literally like, this is this is art to me. <laughs> so um, really, there's, there's levels to this. There's levels to this art shit, and the article's money, bro. So um, <laughs> the next thing was uh, we had um, we did our Woman Crush Wednesday, the love of my life, Dessa. Ugh, she's from that rhyme sayers land, from fucking what are they from? Like mm-hmm. uh, Minneapolis. Oh my god, she can rap, and this it, and she's people, nice. She's so nice, and people don't know she's she's just fire. She was part of Doomtree back in the day, for you know the old backpackers. I know every backpacker's ears are gonna start ringing when they hear that, but um. She can rap, and this, I don't know if you guys are fans of, like, Tiny the tiny Desk, like the NPR and all that shit. But I like Tiny Desk. So hers was fire. So she did this performance with her team right after, like, a sh- string of crazy shows. Her voice went out, and they got robbed the night before this. Someone robbed their tour bus, like, their wow. tour van and stole their equipment. So she did this with all the stress in the world yeah. and fucking murdered it. So that made it even better. So this is just a fantastic NPR. Definitely check it out. It's fire. And she's just the love of my life. She looks tall, you know. I'm gonna see I love all the uh, I love all the NPR Tiny Desk hip hop appearances. They're always They're fire. All fantastic, dude. The Big Daddy Kane one, top five. Yo, it top was great. Five, but um. So then we had uh, another project, the Three Day Theory by Fletcher. This was nice. I this fucked was with this. This was fun. Yeah, this was a good time. This I was fun. I thought I was, I was grilling this. while listening to this, and <laughs> nice. I was like, "Yeah, the clogs on." I it's, thought I was going to hate this because I was like, yo, this dude's smiling way too much on his cover, bro. I'm not into yo, this. Yo, facts. But it was mad happy, though. It was really happy. It was good happy. It was mad happy. So I, I, was gotta, like, oh, I gotta look at this motherfucker. Again. This one, I was like, oh, this dude took all of he took all of that sauce that Chance the Rapper fucked up with with that last yeah, project. He, like he had mad sauce, bro. He no, was, he, he had just... mad sauce. <laughs> I was like, damn. I was yo, like, Drake K, Chance you did good. The rapper. Chance the rapper is terrible. <laughs> so he's got two good projects. He's got three rapper, good projects right, under his belt. I good. I've never given a rapper more shots than Chance. Like I've tried. To I like, like Chance. I like three projects from Chance. And I'm and Chance I, and Logic are like in the same. Like I just can't. Corny. I could never get into them. <laughs> I could never do it. Like Logic, there's like a few songs where I'm like okay, yeah. and then Chance, same thing. Like there's a couple songs on my playlist and shit, but like I could just never like sit through a whole project. Uh, man, you know what? I feel like. It's hard to get into chance if you had if you didn't sit in a black church for a lot of your childhood. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I think that's what it is. Because you, you know that's why but... I can't. That's why I can't write him off. 
right away. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember those days. So that's what it is. But this project is a good fucking yeah, this shit is time. Fun this as fuck. is a, a saucy project. It's smooth. It's got a lot of fun to it. Drake came with one decent review. Next, too. So the next one was um, oh, this project was gas. This project that's what I'm I had a great this time. Was also, this saucy, was uh, God and Girls. This was D one. So I hit this dude. Up. I'm trying to get this dude in the show, but um, mm-hmm. this is a good one. This is this is like this is those the mainstream ready shit that people just don't hear. Yeah, this is this is ready for the this people. is mainstream. Like this is what if this was on the radio, I would have no problem with the new age. I'd be like, oh, this is the new age. This is cool. This is a good time. This this has yeah. raps. It has theory, themes. It's, it's got a lot of shit about women. women. <laughs> it's got a lot. It's about women, you know. But it's a good fucking time. Like this project was dope. Every feature yeah, you know, had a good time. This is a smooth. Yeah, the smooth exact movie. shit of what we say. You know what I'm saying? There's the good fucking yeah. portion of this new age shit, and then you got the shitty portion of it. Yeah. This was on the better portion of it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Way he actually better. knows how to fucking operate this it's shit. It's the you know genuine. Like, yeah, still keep it. Yeah, it's yeah, super genuine, bro. Yeah, he got the he got the fucking the uh, he got the fucking um, concoction right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He, he got all the all the all the ingredients are there. Pieces. And you know yeah, what? He honestly, hit all the yeah. ingredients and then a little bit of real life. His approach, <laughs> his approach to the theme too, because like, if I hear a rap like nowadays, if someone's like, "Yo, listen to this rapper," he raps about God. I don't want to hear it. And then if it's like, "Yo, oh, listen to this rapper," great. raps about girls. I'm like, I don't know if I want to hear it. This he hit it. Mm-hmm. He hit those two subjects in such unique and different ways that I was like, I'm all for this. I don't think he curses like at all. Oh no, no, he's on his light skin. Like the whole time, I was like halfway through it, and I was like, "Damn, I don't think I've heard a curse word yet." He knew his grand, yo, he knew his grandmother was listening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's sliding though. He's he sliding. He's sliding. He's sliding. He can, yo, he can, but that's the thing. He's he's talented. Like he was harmonizing, he was singing, he was rapping, he was this doing man, doing a lot. This man got butter mm-hmm. shoes on a fucking tile floor. Facts. <laughs> Facts. He's sliding. And then, oh, um, and then after that, we went into this trash. Hennessy Memories by YNX Seven One Six. Ass juice. Oh god. Oh, oh man. my. God. I would rather face an entire bottle of warm henny. Than- <laughs> <laughs> this shit again. Just. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> don't make me do it again. God damn. Oh, oh, that's the best way so that, yeah, you somebody. nailed it, bro. That is like, the yo, best way to describe it. You got to chug it. this or listen to this project in full. I'm like, give me that. <laughs> give that's, me the bottle. You grab the bottle from out of the sun. <laughs> yeah, I just like, it's been sitting in the heat for like three days. Oh, it's yo, been, man, it's been man. rolling around in the back of someone's Dude, car. This project, honestly, <laughs> on the on the subject of Henny, this is why you don't let niggas bring Henny to the studio if they don't know how to handle it. This sounds like <laughs> these dudes were in the studio just to take pictures of them in a Henny bottle, and nothing was focused in on studio. in the actual it's studio. Silly. Yeah. Please, yo, they had they had the phone on a fucking video record. <laughs> yo, seriously, yo, dude. Yo, they had the phone on video record and they were just going like this in the background the whole <laughs> time. Bro. <laughs> Mad corny, bro. This shit was whack. I was like, bro, what's crazy though, which blew my mind out of this whole fucking project. How you get a Conway feature and a 38 special feature? And How? You shit, you shit the Money. bed. You shit Money. the bed. <laughs> oh my a god! Lot of money they spent their entire. They all spent <laughs> they can't their buy life savings. <laughs> had a GoFundMe page that said, <laughs> "My uncle's dying of cancer." I oh the shit! Bills and he bought a thirty-eight special. <laughs> made their cousins go out. Made sure. their cousins go out with the boxes of chocolates and shit. Shit is yeah. crazy, bro. I was not. I was not into this barrel. The mixing, everything was just not a good time. This bottom of the good. barrel, shit. Yeah, bottom of the barrel. Even yeah. the even the cover art. This is one of those shits that you see spamming you on Instagram. Like, get this out of here, bro. Get this way out of here. So then, yeah. We Speaking of getting a, stuff out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah. We about to get this way out of here. So then we had our interview with uh, Kappa Carta. We dropped. And this dude, pretty much the interview is forty five minutes of him trying to defend his red stamps and us not letting him have it. <laughs> Mark, Mark just called him whack. Like, what do you think oh, was gonna happen? Hey, we were just know, not but... giving it to him. Like, no, no, no. And he we tried. Were nice about it. Yeah, we were cool about it, but still, <laughs> yeah. we weren't letting him. Like, no, it's not happening. I did not like she it. She was not. And this is him. And this, and then, and I didn't. I, I sometimes I know I bully people's mind, but this is not me bullying him. In each of the posts that I post for his promotion, I said I just said, hey, what would you people emoji rate this? And people have been whooping his ass. <laughs> and, <he's laughs> and it's just to the point where he stopped defending himself and i'm like hey 
it wasn't just us. You know, and then he just came out. He's like, "Yeah, people in my own town, city, hate me, and this and that." I'm like, "Maybe, you know, they're they're right." You should take a hit, dog. Yeah, but um, yeah, man. He check said, them "People all in my own city hate me." That's yeah. terrible, bro. Like that, <laughs> that, that says something. <laughs> says something, bro. Big facts. So, uh, so then we had our throwback Thursday, which was um, Harlem I, World by Mace. So, can I say something about Mace real quick? Yeah, go for it. Why does it look like Mace, grew, when he was born, he was born a hat, and he grew from that? <laughs> like those plants that like people yeah. have in their kitchens that down. grow downward? <laughs> yeah. He grew from the hat down. <laughs> Yo, he like grew his face so, first. <laughs> while I was, when I was making the video for this, where I was like, you know, ripping it from YouTube, I watched that whole interview that I posted the clip from, and I was hysterical. So I'm like, why does he talk so slow? <laughs> Yo, he looks weird as fuck, dude. <laughs> dude, but the internet, the, the interview's funny. But yo, this project was gas, bro. This project was just radio bangers. Like, it was a good time. And Nate's is from Harlem. Harlem niggas can rap. They just, they just rap different. No one raps like people from Harlem. They Not leave true. such an effect on the game. It's disgusting. Yeah. But um, it's a great project. So then you Thursday, can... we started off with uh, Dive by Black Milk. Black Milk's still right. out here. I did this review so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I have everything scheduled out till for, till like Yo. the end of next month, bro. I'm, Shout out I'm to the done new working guys. on the page. We've been on it. <laughs> Fact. Salute to the new guys. Frankie, Drake K, even though we give you a lot of shit, Drake K, salute to you. Squeegee, mm-hmm. oh, we waiting for you to come back when you're done with your project. But um Facts. Dive by Black Milk. Black Milk's still out here. He's still putting out quality music. This shit is smooth. It's got raps nice. for days. For days. Yeah, this this project was dope. I, I this was like I had like three projects that I really fucking liked, and this was like one of the the top. Yeah, this was great. This, was this could have been. Great. This literally lost like a point and a half for me though, mm. because of that last track. Yeah, that end, like, yeah. It was like that's not how you end such <laughs> yeah. a good project. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? This was fire. Yeah, you can't what have, you can't have a project be so strong and, and, and like if it if the yeah. last song is not keeping the same energy, just cut it. It's like he just hit the brakes. Like it's just yeah. <laughs> He's a vet. He Yo, you know what it is? I, I'll tell you like this too. Sometimes, like, what motherfuckers do, like, they, uh, most of the time, when people have a good project, and I've fucking done this too, where, like, I'd have a good project or whatever the case is, and there's that one fucking song or those two songs that I'm like, Yo, I really want to put these songs on it because I think it'll fucking, like, help branch this album out a little bit better. And that's those are always the one or two songs that people are like, if you would have left those fucking songs off, your shit would have been, been ten straight. times better. Yep. And that's probably what he ran into. And especially since it was the last song, it was probably like, yo, you know what? Let me let me rush this motherfucker out because yeah. I really want to add this to it. Yeah, or and he was like, oh, I, 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 re- I need one more or some shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's usually how it always works. It's rough, man, because like that, this project was so yeah, you could. You could have just left that off without that project. Without left that it song. at ten yeah. tracks. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Eight, eight point five, right in there. But you know, still yeah. dope project. Definitely worth a lot of listens. Mm-hmm. So then we had another project, Gasoline. The Iliad is dead by, and the Odyssey is over by Mers, Ninth Wonder, and the Soul Council. So the it's Soul Council fire. It's the Soul this Council. That we got. Let's talk about this. We got three projects this week produced, like this month, produced by the Soul Council. Mm-hmm. And ninth in them. That's fucking. That's a blessing. We're we're, we're not gonna hear from them in the next like two years. Are we? Are we? Are we coming into a new golden era? Oh, they're trying, bro. Yo, they're trying to end this year right? off strong. I'm gonna tell you now, bro. I'm gonna tell you now. Yo, you see, this isn't like all right. So motherfuckers used to used to say a lot when like Kendrick and Jake Cole came out. They were like, "Yo, we're going back in time now. Like it's gonna come back. Everything always goes clockwork. So this shit's coming back. But now." It isn't even these new dudes that are doing older, older style. Mm. You have motherfucking legends coming back, coming and back, heat. and and they're not coming back like all oh, these dudes are washed up. No, motherfuckers are coming back hard. So it's like this it's shit's scary. coming back, bro. When yeah. you got it's ninth all this Wonder, year, all this year we've been getting yeah, old head you projects. You got ninth wonder, bro. Coming, yo, ninth one is a fucking problem. One um, of the greatest producers of all time, of all time. bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. crazy, this, bro. This, this project, man, Mers is out here. Mers dropped one of my favorite projects last year. And then this year, he's just like, I'm going to put this out, too. And this project is like, bro, he's not skipping a set step. And I like the whole mm-hmm. monotone, like, simple, sound simple, but not simple raps type shit. And yeah. he is the, he's one of the masters of it. And honestly, I he like just coming. He's out he's of a, strange. He's, mm-hmm. he's so in the pocket, too. Oh, it's disgusting. Like, he's just in there. That Dude, that's why when yeah. I first got into Mers. 
he was rapping with Slug when him and Slug first put out a project, and, just, and I was like all about it because that's just Pocket City. That's just like different yeah. types of pockets. And now he's just like he left. I think he left Strange officially, and he's just been having a blast. Even though his project with yeah. Seven Michael Seven Summer, one of the most underrated producers ever, last year was just f- fucking fire. But still, it's like yo, do your thing, Murs. Do your fucking thing. This project's gas. There is bang. You got an eight at Drake. <laughs> yo, facts. Well, but then again, who knows, man? Fletcher got. Well, I mean, for this to be an old head project and get an eight at a Drake, facts. It's a good. Yeah, if it was a new like, age, I feel like eight. in Alaska they don't understand it too much, or he can't play it too loud because then like ice starts melting. So, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so then we it had another uh, Capricarta thing with this dusty white girl, booty cheeks Yo, all over the place. Get this dust! I, I saw. I posted. I was like, <laughs> like this shit is just like it's too much, bro. Like get this dusty <laughs> white girl. She got the wild here. square hips. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Got a visual of SpongeBob SquarePants in this motherfucker. (laughs) Yeah, just get her out of here. And then another video of him, clearly sunburnt. Yeah, it looks like he just got done mowing on <laughs> They're going to go to Ops, man. They're going to have that ice cream truck, bro. It's, it's clockwork. It's early today. Yo, he's selling drugs, I'm telling you. I know. No ice cream man rolls around at 8 or 9 uh, every day. He's selling bootlegs and drugs. Facts. All of the bootlegs and drugs. But, yeah, <laughs> so um, then we had um, – we did our uh, we did our face off. I was like, you know what? Let me jump into the media hype. Fuck did you me. actually try them? Huh? Did no, you I don't, no, 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 no. You know, man, I'm doing I'm doing this keto me shit. Man. I can't even touch oh, that, yeah, that bread. I can't even look at that bread, bro. Oh yeah, that's yeah. You look I at that. I can't even look at that shit, bro. Started. But honestly, what's fucked up is um, what people don't know. I'm about to go into a woke segment real quick. What people don't know, man, you gotta look up the ingredients to that Popeye shit, man. That shit got fucking chlorine in it and other shit. Yeah. But it's got chlorine I'm in gonna... it, bro. That's not good for your body. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know. I didn't even know what was going on with this shit, bro. With no, this whole blew, Popeyes thing, bro. Blew up the internet, bro. It was just like, I didn't Popeyes, Popeyes like be like, like you want a chicken sandwich on Sunday or some shit? Like they were like, yeah, talking Popeyes class on started. Twitter and just ruining the black community. But Popeyes won by a landslide. Clearly, I just did this to get up on the you know the hype wave and fuck around. But um, I am super. Yeah. Uh, to, just so people know, I am super upset about this because. In black communities alone, because Popeyes, instead of outside of Chick Fil A, Popeyes actually takes EBT, so that's another thing. So you know it's targeting like black hoods. But the thing that oh, pisses you know, me you off know they the got most EBT. is this fucking Popeyes sandwich alone in a week generated from black communities specifically roughly thirty mil, and that pisses me off because that's not Popeyes isn't a black run company. For thirty mil, we could have opened up thirty nah, black, but they got a black thirty black run. owned banks. You know what I'm saying, and that that upsets me. But anyway, yeah, but they got a black spokeswoman. So, I know, know who's got, who got nothing. Thing, right? Who's probably getting nothing. Yeah, exactly, who's probably getting nothing. That's so. the point. It's all like look black over people, here. bro. You can't be out here being woke and then just letting me down. You just can't. You can't. But chicken sandwiches, Johnny. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, let me let me tell you something though, bro. I I, I eat a lot of Popeyes, right? Because like. <laughs> At work, you like that like chlorine. Really fucking get that chlorine, Yo, that bro. shit is delicious, bro. <laughs> you put a little chlorine <laughs> in it, baby. Yo, but, but you know what it is? Like, yo, I dip went it in the Florida pool real quick. Long, yeah, I went to Florida. Yo, let me tell you something, bro. In Florida, motherfuckers have Chick fil A's like 7 Elevens, bro. There is a Chick fil A. Oh, who you telling, bro? Corner, He's in Florida, bro. this guy. Yeah, I'm every, from Florida. Yo, you ain't telling the lie. Bro, see? Yo, you! I guarantee you walk outside right now. There's a Chick Fil A outside. There's a Chick Fil A. There's a Chick Fil A <laughs> three miles that way. God, see what I mean? God That's damn. crazy, bro. That's wild. We just got we just got Chick Fil A out here, and it's they built a Chick Fil A. They built a Chick Fil A in St. Cloud like four years ago. People were losing their goddamn minds. <laughs> but did you? Any of you guys try the sandwich? Did any of you guys try the sandwiches? I ain't dice, waiting dice, no you try one line sandwich. Get the fuck out! You try here. one dice. You try the, the Popeye sandwich. No, I haven't tried uh, it yet. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. My, I'm my, gonna, my, my ignorant it. ass homeboy Sam. He ignorant as shit. He posted a, a picture on Instagram of like a bag of Popeyes on his motorcycle, and he's like, "Deliveries coming at you. Hit me up." Piece <laughs> <laughs> of shit, bro. Yo, what, yo, was it you that shared that that it was like? Uh, uh, what is it? Chick Fil A is is a girl Sarah that grew up around black people. That fucking <laughs> oh yeah, that was in the in the story. The Popeyes is yeah. Oh, it's yeah, wild, that bro. Shit is, that's just legit though. That shit's true. <laughs> yeah, it is that's very true. true. Sarah's dead yeah. in the motherfucking kitchen. Lucy that. don't get Lucy don't give a fuck because yeah. God's in control. He's got- <laughs> yeah, Facts. yeah. 
So uh, Friday we had a bunch of stuff coming up. So um, Friday we had uh, Iconology by Missy Elliott, the first EP of the <laughs> legendary Missy. It was meh. I could live without it. Yeah, I didn't. I'm never gonna listen to it again. The first song was garbage. First song was so boring, and I just couldn't get the whoop whoop whoops out of my head. Second song was just okay. Yo, <laughs> I fucking I turned this on and I turned it off. Like, <laughs> He's like nope. Yo, because you know what it was like. I turned it on and I turned it off and then I was sitting in the living room and on the news they were showing a video by Missy Elliott I guess from this and the video looked like some old school Missy Elliott like she had like the fucking the uh, pigtails and and everybody's fucking like jumping over them and shit in the hood and I'm like yo that's dope and then I'm like you know what maybe I was a dick let me fucking jump back in here and listen to the project and then I'm like this ain't Missy Elliott. Like, like it's new it age shit, like bro. Missy it was Elliot. Missy doing like the quality is Missy. The shit's clean. Yeah, and yeah. then it's like the beats it's are okay. Just... They're cool. They're 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 up to par. But everything else is like, does did Missy really want to make this? This was nah. like somebody was like, you should. You got a lot of hype around you. I would have. Yeah, you, you know have what? to do I'm something. Tell you what she's doing. What I think she's doing is she's gonna drop this and then she's gonna drop an actual yeah. album. This ain't the end of it. Yeah. She didn't oh come yeah. Back this ain't the end. Yeah, bro. That ain't Missy. Because yeah. Missy, Missy could fucking, I tell you, Missy could still spit. So she can spit yo, and gonna, she can sing. She still shows she can sing. Yeah. The last two songs, like even though it was double, I was like, all right, I'm into this. I always yeah, talk about how so, Missy Elliott can spit. And people are always fucking be like, oh, name name two songs where she actually raps. I'm they like, just hate the that point. she says some silly shit. I know shit. she can. They just hate that she says some shilly, silly shit sometimes. And that's it. Yo, she reminds me. Yo, she honestly reminds me. She's Lil me Wayne's like, favorite rapper. Yo, you. I'm not, I'm not no saying, I'm not Wayne. saying Fuck like you. water <laughs> Oh shit! We're losing. Oh, he's in the matrix. Back away towards it because I can't show you. you. See me? All right. Now we, you're I'm, good. You were just beatboxing for a second. Yeah, it was cool. It was like. Okay. It, 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 I'm, it, um, <laughs> I'm not disrespecting Missy because I, I like her and I do respect her, but like I feel like she's almost like more of a watered down female version of like Redman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Redman will do that. Crazy, yeah. funny shit. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's different. They actually it's different styles. They actually put out one of my favorite those, songs when they both rap together on that song, "That Bitch." That's one of my favorite Redman songs, and it's a wild mm-hmm. song. But she goes off on it. She does everything. She raps and she sings on it. Yeah, and she goes off. But, but yeah, I get what, what you're I'm saying because she doesn't. She doesn't give a fuck. Like her style, her her like funny style, her humor and shit reminds me of a lot of like Redman yeah. and how she goes about it. So. Yeah. Even with this shit, even with this new project, she still did that in like videos and stuff. Like she still has that. So I guarantee you, she's gonna drop another project. It's yeah. gonna be more, I hope so. I you really know, hope Missy. So. We need know? it. I, we we need, need it. So. so speaking of like ladies going off, uh, well, doing whatever. This is this is this project. This project. This is Ooh. Eve by Rhapsody. This is Rhapsody and Ninth Wonder. Lord. Yeah, another this, Ninth this Wonder. Was dope. The only dope. thing that stopped this from being a ten was that Oprah track. I was not into it. I fucking hate yeah, you were in the it. chat talking about that. I was like, this song ruined everything, bro. I was not into that song at all. The beat pissed me off. That fucking uh, Lay Kelly 47. I was not into this this song at all. It's that, this is another case of that. You could have cut that one song. Yo, it's facts. Yo, cut that and what made me song. mad, though, is because like I love the whole uh, this whole project. It, it just speaks to my soul. The concept <laughs> of like the strong women for every title, all of that shit. I'm so on board with. And I needed this Oprah song to be about money and to be wild. And it was not. And I was so upset about it. I was like, come on, bro. But other than that, oh, my Lord. Can we address something? Every time Rhapsody (laughs) is on a song with J. Cole, she is breastfeeding him. That man is not J. Cole when he's on wax with her. He is her child. (laughs) He is her child. She she cooked him? fucking cooked. She every if you just go on iTunes, whatever you use, Spotify, look up her and J. Cole. Every song he does not stand a chance. His Yo, verse on this, I was like, this is nice. She fucking was like, I'm going to leave this orbit, this planet, and J. Cole it's is just on about, Earth. Like something, it's she something fucking, about J. Cole that does it to her. Yo, I, Yo, that's what I'm saying. Not only just that, but it's something about her that does it to him. Yo, he ain't fucking focusing <laughs> on rapping. He's, yeah, he's like, oh, he's, say, he's, he's like, say, I don't know he's, what's going he's on. He's never given like a shitty verse up with her, but it's like hers. It's like he's giving her the verse first, and she's like, oh, I'm about to fuck him up. And she's going fucking yeah. ape. If you know Jake Paul's like, like, listen, you're going to start sending me your verse first. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know this is your album, so I'm gonna let you slide. It. But what what bugged me out was like, yo, even Jid held on m- more than Cole did on there. You know what I'm saying? Like speaking to other people, but oh my god, this track, this is fire. That D'Angelo Jizza song fucked me up. Like, yo, Queen Latifah, go ahead, show these people why Tupac was your homie. Show these my people. Wife, my wife loves Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah fucking existed so aggressively on this track like she never left queen latifah was just like this felt easy this was such a bag i was like bro this song is fucking hard this song is generations this song is history this song is fucking cold queen latifah came on as if she has never left and it just she's like i've been rapping you're gonna go toe-to-toe years. with one of the best female artists that we've had in the last generation you're just gonna disappear do movies with common and then come out here and go toe-to-toe with her like that yes get the fuck Fire. Yo, that's why, bro. That's fire. why. Motherfucking fire. Legends, it's, bro. it's the rise of the old heads, bro. <laughs> Yo. Facts. Yeah. And this verse alone, I would always I would always take down Queen Latifah. People. But this verse alone, I'm trying to take down Queen Latifah. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? But this project. Yo, that's gassed. why. That's why what I'm saying, bro. Like I said, it's, it's, it, that shit's coming back, dude. That yeah. shit's coming back. Yo, and it's coming back at this time where motherfuckers now, these new school rappers, they can't stand a chance against them. There is no, like, line of defense against this oh, yeah. fucking slaughter. And it's just there's, over. Some oh, there's some new age girls that I like. There's some new age I like. There's some, like, underground like underground girls that I like, but no one's standing in front of a Rhapsody. You got all the... You, you got, like, yeah. there's, like, an absurd... There's, like, an upsurge coming from underground. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. And then you yeah. got all these old it's heads. Boiling out. I have to see Rhapsody like, when she comes around here. Apparently, she's been performing with Alicia Keys, because I kind of need that. That's fire. But, yeah, yeah this, I'm about to tell you... I'll tell you straight up, bro, what's happening. It's like you said, bro, it's a boiling, but but it's been boiling, but now, like, a lot of the old heads, they've been doing that thing. It's like Johnny said, yo, they're fucking, they were fucking doing movies, Queen Latifah's and movies were common. <laughs> we're they're common. making money, bro. But now, but now they took notice to that boiling, and now they're like, oh, what? We come to save what we created. The is even stronger. The underground scene is stronger than this other shit. Yeah. Okay, and now they're coming back. It's, so, it's cool, too, because it's impressive to me because rap has turned into like you know for the mainstream rap i should say i'm not going to judge you know put all rap together but mainstream rap has turned into a subjectless music and what's weird is yeah. a lot of the stuff that we loved rap for growing up was because the subject was it was similar it was a lot of struggle a lot of like not having anything and that gave us like hopes and dreams but the thing yeah. that that at first, like growing up and stuff like that, even now, sometimes I'll listen to like an older rapper come back and I'm like, I don't know what I want them to rap about. Yeah. And it's like, because if Jay-Z rapped about struggle, I don't know if I would accept that because that nigga is. But that's also, it depends on how you frame it. Yeah. Though. You know, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like the fact that these old school rappers are coming back now and talking that shit, that adult grown up shit, that shit that well, makes me want to get my credit the, checked. Like, I'm here sh- for it. The, the trick is is talking about genu- it's it's genuineness it's genuine, yeah, it's again genuine. because yeah. you could have somebody who talks about struggle like they used to talk about struggle mm. it don't mean that they don't have struggles now but they're not talking about that they're trying yeah. to talk about the same shit and it yeah. just doesn't seem real anymore yeah, and, now it's, and now it's their mind but, they're talking about their yeah. mind being bigger than that yeah. yeah but it's like you said if if you have Jay Z do it I don't it's just like I, I said like, he could do it if he did it right the other day. Mm. yeah but I was talking to some people the other day and I'm like yo like I can't take 50 seriously because if he starts talking that gangster shit you like can't. Yeah, yeah. He'll still like I'm sure throw down, but you but know, if he was rapping about trolling people, if he was rapping about yeah, getting his yeah. money, feeling it, that'd be yeah. Too. You know, definitely. Yeah. But that's the thing. A lot of these, a lot of these old heads now, a lot of them don't don't really have that as much as people think they do. So it's like, yeah. but and even if they do, you don't got to talk about. They don't have to talk about them having it as long as they just talk about the problem. You yeah. know what I mean? People yeah. can relate to it as Facts. long as they don't make it so Tell like tailored to themselves. Facts. But yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's Project, man. Definitely checking out. That Raina's interlude, Instant Diamond. Afini, the last song, the Two Box Mom shit, Instant Diamond. And that D'Angelo Jizza song could have been higher for me because I can't stop listening to it. Salute to D'Angelo for keeping it a buck. You went from butt ass naked to fat to back to regular and doing cowboy songs. I'm here for that, D'Angelo. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> so then the next project, I, it was cool. The next project was uh, TM104, The Legend of the Snowman. This is Jeezy's last album, unfortunately. It makes me sad. I enjoyed this. This was a solid seven for me. But that's because yeah, Jeezy... Right. I, I appreciate him mixing it up, doing what he does. 
his type sound stuff and then mixing it up with other stuff that's cool but Jeezy's never outside of his first project he's never been someone that I could just listen to standalone he needs those features he needs those other people that's how I felt too when I was listening to it I'm like like this was actually the only Jeezy and, I, and I'm not saying it's a hate because I do like Jeezy and I, I love that he keeps it 100% yeah. or, at all times but this was the first time I ever really fully listened to like a Jeezy project you know what I mean and, and Damn. it was yo, you didn't listen to Thug Motivation that's a that's a classic that's a classic I probably I probably, <laughs> I probably heard it all listen Jeezy had a Lambo before he started rapping yo that yo yo like I still I, put I, on Thug Motivation I've heard at the it gym. over time but I've never actually fully sat down oh, okay. and listened to when it's it came out project, when it came out see that to me I, I got I got it when it came out and that was a CD era and you had no choice yeah, in that. Yeah. Whatever you went to school with, you, that CD was on you all day. I wasn't trying to carry a bookcase of CDs. So I had when I came, got that, that was in my Walkman for a hot minute. I had the big, ugly, yellow, mm-hmm. skipless Walkman that always skipped. I was out here. But <laughs> <laughs> that, CD, it, that CD hit. That shit hit for me. When I, was, I was like, yes. But, um, yeah, this project was bomb, bro. It had that dope CeeLo thing. It had Meek, Meek Mill. I see you on your features. Meek, I never trusted you as a rapper, and I always wondered why you got as big as you were. But you've been showing me this year for sure that you deserve to be in that, that light. That you put out you've been, nice. Your features have been – no, but I, I'm just talking about his features, bro. He's been yeah, out here on people's features have been tracks. out here, yeah. He I put out some you. clean projects too. Yeah. Then you had that, that Queen Nyjah song, Fake Love. Yeah. And then John Legend – I will give you the go. John Legend made that song for you, sir. It's a good the song, goat. but that song, John Legend had me like, I was like, oh, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. I was like choked up. John Legend was out here because he could do no wrong. Yeah, it's John Legend, bro. He could do no it's wrong. John Legend. I, I can't funny, miss. Funny little side story. So John Legend played a show out here. Probably I was probably 25 and played a show on Long Island with Sade. So nobody wanted to go with me. Cause I love Sade and I fuck with John Legend. So I went by myself, a 25 year old light skin and shape me by myself at a John Legend and Sade show. When I tell you, I've never felt more like a piece of meat in my entire life. I was yeah, I fucking scared. I was scared, bro. I, I literally saw one of the ladies sitting next to me, put her ring away just to dance on me. And I didn't, I didn't have fun. <laughs> I didn't have like, fun oh, for no, the, enti- no, the entire time. And the more John Legend sang, the more Sade, the more any music was on, the more I was prey. And it was frightening. Well, so you know what you got to do, bro? You get those fucking, you get those. Beat it down on the dance floor and you leave. No, yeah, dude. You get, you get, <laughs> I'm a confident dude. I've tackled so John, a lot in my life. Throw. I was scared. Listen, John, yeah. this is what you got to do, bro. You got you to gotta throw a party. Get all those middle aged fucking four hundred one k plans, and you just get John Legend to perform, bro. Facts. <laughs> now, it, bro. Dude, bro, they're Facts. bro, women and women in middle age. They're, they're killers. Like I, I, you know, you watch animal stuff, and you're like, there's always that like energy where you're like, oh, this fucking animal knows that this thing is a killer. <laughs> I felt that like when like a deer is like, oh shit, that's like a, yeah, a bobcat you know is gonna is, kill me. You like, feel it. That's in the air. It's not like a you see yeah. it, and you know it's dangerous. You feel yeah. it. I don't even have to look at the animal that's gonna kill me. I feel it. And that shit was frightening because yeah. I was surrounded. You know, what that, you know what that feeling is, bro? That's a woman with trauma. And nobody has had <laughs> more time to curate their trauma than a middle-aged woman at a John Legend concert. But no, bro. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't even choke him. I can tell you the energy up, felt. Like all I, it wasn't shit. even the trauma. I felt like a faceless being. They're going to be like their stares were they fuck through you. my soul, bro. They were looking at me like I was something that they were going to devour and just leave the bones in the yeah, ground exactly. to like decompose. They're like gonna rip I, you I apart. was going to die. Like I was like, I'm going to die. Cougar death. Yeah, he left no open. You're death by Snoo Snoo. Yo, bro. I, I when I left death that place, Snoo. I was getting bro. I, and this shit is and people are like oh whatever. I, this could be me too shit. I was getting groped. Like I was getting touched when I was leaving. I, a lot of shit was happening, bro. It was frightening, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm thinking like you think oh 25. I'm in like the prime of my fucking. I'm having a good time. Like, I'm about to get I was raped. shook. I was like, I had to get out of here, bro. I was like, yo. Yo, can you imagine if you would have been like in the shower crying? Yo, I got home stressed. I didn't tell nobody about the show. I was like, yeah, the show was cool. And that was it. Like, I, I was like slapping hands off him. It was wild, bro. Like, it was wild. But, anyways, back to my oh, trauma. This ain't my trauma hour. But um, the next project was uh, my son, my my child, No J, formerly known I'm, as I'm not to Young be Moriarty. Asshole, this doesn't deserve a pumpkin. What do you think this deserves? It's a stamp. You, you didn't like this? I, I like the I, first, I, I like the, the I like the first song and the last song too. It was one song. I didn't like the last song that much. Uh, I like the first it was and the last. Okay. 
I didn't hate it. I, it was fun. It, it, it's like maybe squeeze a pumpkin out of me. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. But I, 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 you know what it is for me? It I guess better. it's because I can hear the progress. Yeah. I'm not saying it wasn't better. But this the two is, middle songs I was not into. I was like, this is not, this is B-movie soundtrack shit. This is weird. Yeah. He, I, it looked like he, he was hurt in the comments. Well, you never know with these, <laughs> these kids. Man. He just goes, oh, bet. Oh, yeah. bet. <laughs> He's hurt. That's hurt. He's oh, hurt. man. But I, you know what? I, when Drake K called for it, I was like, oh, man, Moriarty's about to get a green check. And I was like, damn, Drake K gave him a phone. Thanks. Game. I thought the same thing. He was like, I'll take that noji. And I was like, well, there you go. I was like, well, well I guess he didn't get it. We're corrupting Drake K. Slowly. Dang. Slowly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a short little four piece. Check it out at your own discretion. Yo, this video I did not like of. Uh, Bro, <laughs> oh, he looked crazy. Painful. He sent this to us to post? Yeah. Like, willingly. <laughs> it looks like a spoof video. <laughs> like, it looks like it's supposed to be funny rap, but it's not funny. You give oh, a yeah. fuck about nothing. It's a Maddie B, Maddie B rap I'll video. I'll bun it on the track, somebody said. Yeah. <laughs> Our fans ain't shit. So... SoundCloud Saturday started off kind of, kind of, kind of strong. The it's more, per, it's more so personal by Nine Five. Cool name. This project was cool. It's a nice vibe. Um, it was all right. It was nice. It was a, it was a nice message. Smooth, yeah. smooth listen. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Nothing. It's SoundCloud. Yeah, you know, it's SoundCloud. We can't get all crazy with SoundCloud. I don't know about a seven point five. Frank's tripping a little. A little bit. I would give it like a six point five. Yeah, that's the, maybe yeah. a solid. Six. There's some pity points in there. Yeah. So then. Let's skip on that one. So the next project, I didn't realize it's my second time reviewing this guy. I like this guy's first project. This it was. This was, I hate. Yeah, I hated this, this project. Bad. This I hated this cheeks project. It's super clean. It's talent. clean and radio ready, but it's mad it's, generic. And I'm like, what happened? Yeah. He put out this a project like, where he was punchlining the whole time, and it was decent. And then you put this yeah, out. Yeah, that last one was nice. He was rapping. And then you put this out, and he. All right, hold on. You know, I, to I gotta go to the Facebook to break down this sentence that this nigga put on it because one grown men should not type like this. But, got Adam but yeah, you guys can talk about it. I gotta find. No, it's the worst yeah, no. thing I've ever Did read. This one, guys. Did you get to the sound? It's a, uh, yeah, and it's the uh, it's the epitome of motherfuckers that just can't make up their minds of what they want to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's it's literally just like yeah, I don't know if I want to be a fucking new school rapper or if I want to actually try to fucking rap. And then it's just like you know what? I'm just gonna try and merge the two and be terrible at it. It's right. like he knows you can say you got your hands are shaking, dog. Yeah. You see that shit? Nah. I'm gonna send it in this Skype, bro, in the chat. It is not the most Listen, coherent this thing is, I've ever seen. Okay, so the first project was fire. Yeah. But he was rapping, but I feel like the production wasn't as good. So I think what's happened here is he used all of his raps on the first one, got a little bit of money together, paid for better production, had nothing to rap about. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, it was weird, man. I was like, I'm not here for this. I wanna jump in here. Uh, Walko, if you could post that in the Skype chat, I can't jump out of it. Okay, but it's it's wild out here. In well, I don't streets. I don't know how I'm gonna do that from my uh, phone to computer. Oh, you don't got Facebook on the on a computer? I do, but I'd have to like go and. Oh wait, it. maybe I got Skype on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if. I... We just this is like the wild awkward. Oh, I do got I do got Skype. Yeah, I know fact. Oh, I do got Skype. Never mind, I got it. Hold up, this is cool shit. I didn't know I got this on my phone. I should know that though, because I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even know. I'm, I, I came my shite hard dough of <laughs> the criticism ain't shit. It's wild, bro. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Bro, he like, said he L.I. Doing? criticism. A Lee criticism. <laughs> I, dude, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with people. but He, he learned how to fucking write from Floyd like, Mayweather. Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> Shit's wild, but um, that's yeah, his, project that's was his nephew. project was weak as fuck. But uh, outside, you know, of you that, could do better. Yeah, and then outside of, of the last one we did was in the name of La by Reezy or L.A. I don't know. This I think project it was, was smooth. This nigga was singing the whole time, and I was like, yes, give me all of the singing. And there was other people that rapped on it. It was clean. It was super clean. The beats were nice. It was a vibe. It's vibe music. Like if I'm trying to get some yeats yeah. and I invite someone over, I'm putting this on. Mm -hmm. I'm putting this on. Nah, yeah, that shit was definitely smooth. That yeah, it was, was super smooth. smooth. And and it made me miss like people who actually sing. Because mm -hmm. people don't sing anymore. So I was no, I was super don't. on board with it. I was like, yeah, I'm very I'm very much here for all this. Oh man, the picture came through. 
I should, I mean, I could just always add it to the video, but you know, it's not like I don't edit the videos too. It's too much work, dog. <sighs> you know, sometimes, but um, yeah, that was uh, yeah, it was a super smooth project. The dude could sing his ass off. Um, I had no problem, nothing really bad to say about it. One of his features was pretty bad. He had a terrible name. His name was Percy Jack, but um, you can't, <laughs> be, a, you can't be a lit nerd. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You yeah, can't be a lit nerd. It doesn't. It just doesn't. It's not cool. But, Percy um, Jack. Yeah. What? And then the other dudes, like the features, had like money symbols in their names and all these letters, and I was just like, nah, it's too much. I'm not tagging anything. I guys. hate that. I hate that. It gives me fucking flashbacks to that compilation I had to do oh, last. Week. That shit was. Oh my god. Make me yeah, fucking like throw myself off a cliff. Yeah, rough. And then I did a uh, this weird video, Capicarda video, another weird one. Bro, <laughs> they're gonna get weirder until they're done, and then. Dude, the how many more we got left? <laughs> until Tuesday. Oh, usually I do it till t- Tuesday, and then Wednesday we're supposed to post a new thing, but we didn't have an interview, so fuck it. But um, then uh, then the last you thing get I two did... weeks of Kappa Carter. Facts. I'm not. I'm not posting it. So oh, weeks. thank God. I'm not doing that to myself. But um, I'll post Dyson. Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll post dice. That, there you go. I'll post dice <laughs> videos. Go. But um, then the last thing we did was our uh, Slept On Sunday. I think this was Super Slept On. This was Jay Prince's album uh, before uh, before our time. This, I think it's his first album from 2015. It's not the Jay Prince that everybody knows. This is the I UK say, bruv Jay Prince. And uh, this the dude's the super ties. creative. Yeah, this isn't mob ties. But this, is, um, this project's creative for people who just need something that slept on that you're going to listen to and be like, man, I wonder why it slept on. This is one of those projects. But... um. Yeah, and that's pretty much the recap for the week. I think this is a short. I don't know if this is a short episode. I don't know if it was. I don't think it was. Um, I probably hit the hour mark, but like yeah, an hour. Yeah, but this is uh, that's our recap for the week, man. My man, my man, Dice over here did good. Yeah, he just slowly disappeared. Yeah. As the episode went on. Yeah, that's fine. You could disappear sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he just dark. He just we darkness. We were able to see him perfectly, and now I could just see his <laughs> feet. And the and the reflecting strip on his shirt. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but yeah, Dice, you got you got anything you want to plug in? Yeah, you got anything you want to plug in? Go for it, man. You get the there's the red carpet out for you. You can tell I watch Hot Wings, so Hot Ones. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nah, I mean you know, uh, you know watch Hot fucking, Wings. Like I said before, bro. This 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 fucking the golden era is fucking coming back, bro. I'm gonna fucking I'm doing my best to fucking be a part of that. <laughs> Facts. Um, you know, we were talking. We were talking about uh, a lot of rappers with fucking numbers in their names. Unfortunately, I'm one of them only because when you when I used to put dice in my fucking just just D I C E, you would never fucking find me unless you're looking for Andrew Dice Clay. So I was like, Facts. fuck it. Oh, and, uh, thir- Thirteen has been like that was the name of my first album, so that just became part of my name. But it made it easier. But uh, but yeah, no, like I said, man, fucking, um, you know, I done a, I done a review with Not Your Man's. I'll definitely be doing more. Yeah, tell um, them about that project you just dropped. Get it in there. Get your plugs in there. Follow them at yeah, D1C3 fucking, on everything. Go ahead. Yeah, fucking D.1.C.3 on uh, Instagram. You can go to Dice Music, D1C3 Music.com, and you can fucking find every single thing. Um, we just put out a true villain project, uh, Wu Tang Affiliated. Um, yeah, man. I mean, fucking look, look it up, bro. Just go on the website. Everything is fucking right there. Like I said, I'm I'm dropping a, a new album on September 20th. Nice. Uh, a little different than what I normally do. You know what I'm saying? It got like a, a little more like mainstream shit in there. Nothing. I'm not fucking doing this in my shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, turn up. I'm not. Turn up, I'm not up. fucking. Uh, I'm not these gang, other gang. fucking corn balls. But you know what I'm saying? So. Um, but after this is strictly hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so nothing wrong we're with gonna that. we're gonna be doing our thing, bro. And me and John D also talking about some shit. Yes, so. sir. Yes, sir. Talking nice. He's talking nice to me. You know I like when people talk nice to me. I love business talk. I love talk talk. <laughs> I'm here for it. But yeah, man, yeah, yo, yeah. we appreciate you chopping it up with us, getting on here and getting this little review thing on. We still gotta get you on for like interview type shit, but that's fine. We're here. We this this works too. Special guest host Definitely is good. And it works because M wasn't able to make it today, so this worked. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm yeah, dead. man. Yo, yeah, shout out to that. Shout out to yo. We had uh, you could check our page. We had some fun stuff. We went to um, we saw Intel do his little show. He had a little showcase, Sons of Wu Tang type thing going on. It was nice. It was yeah. Good little good little time to get out for the week. I scratched the front of my car, which was funny as hell because I was way too <laughs> forward up. Because my man from Li on the Rise was behind me trying to kill me. But uh, salute to Li on the Rise. Salute to <laughs> underpaid clothing, bro. This. They're actually fire. They sent me a shirt. The shirt's actually fire. And I feel this. I just want to put this on and walk around my job. It's me. Right? Doesn't this? I'm like, this works. Hello? I'm underpaid. Facts. 
But um, yeah, man, salute to everybody that checks in. And this is, yeah, this is us. We out. Yo, thanks again for joining us, sir. Peace.